Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, welcome back. I'm Candace. Well, it, I feel like we just left out of here. Uh, we did just leave out of here. <laughs> it's nighttime. I was over there enjoying the game, um, just watching a little TV, browsing the internet a little bit. And Candace texted me. She said, You gonna pack tonight? And which means that she plans on going to a pretty good many garage sales in the morning. Yeah, uh, tomorrow's Friday, and Saturday there's a really good chance of bad weather. So I think we need to hit as many as we can tomorrow. Which means we need to pack what we can tonight, because by the time we get back here tomorrow, I might have an hour tops yeah. to pull and pack any other orders that come in. So need to make the uh, need need to make the most of the time we got tonight. I mean sucks sometimes honestly it does but like, it's like we were talking about it yesterday if we do have to like go to a doctor's appointment or hey we want to go on vacation we don't have to go ask the boss right i'm off this is the other side of that right you gotta take the good with the bad that's the right bad with the good i guess yep so it's not that bad it's we're not just, so. <laughs> we're just hanging out really yeah. still doing this if i mean if i weren't doing this i'd probably just be sitting in the house on my phone just whatever playing your golf game yeah with pippin yeah. <laughs> all right um, let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and pull a few orders and then when we come back after we pull these orders i'm gonna have to adjust this situation by the time i pull the next one or we could have this is probably already an osha violation i think but we could have like a real real catastrophe here but um first order we sold another griddle it's been a little while since we sold one we bought we started with seven and now we are down to how many we got left we got three left so we bought them for five a piece at a garage sale and i knew exactly what the deal was when we bought them i knew it was gonna we were gonna sell them for about this amount and we did 22.99 plus shipping on top well i do have to get a three bravo i moved candace's bag o monster high stuff temporarily right there and i do need to get to this this is one of those i think this is it this might not be it actually nope that's the wrong one it's a different one i didn't know i had two on the shelf as soon as i saw this i was like there's no way i would sell that one for that amount of money um ah here it is this is a plain old jane literally almost vanilla uh, Bates list finder thing. I don't pick these up all the time anymore like I used to. This one, see, oh, it doesn't even have the uh, the pages. So had to sell that one really cheap. Got $9 and something for that on sale. And six Delta. Is this it? I think this is it. Maybe? Yeah. These are the pennies, um, 50 U.S. state pennies, all stamped with the state on them, and it's, uh, they're all 1976 pennies. We paid $3 for that, and we got $29.99 plus shipping on top. On 11 Alpha, sold some more toothpaste. We didn't sell any for a long time. Not that long, but a pretty good while. And now it's selling. But this ain't toothpaste. It's some kind of shampoo. That's why you only get the boxes that actually say TP on them. There we go. Have one more of those lots left. Put this one back. That lot sold on sale for 11, 11 something plus shipping on top. And uh, yeah, that's some more of that HBA buy or the HBA buy, big HBA buy we did. Uh, how long is that? Ben now, About Candace. Close to a year, huh? Yeah. On 10 Bravo, we sold a cookbook. And oh, this is it right here. This one, Old French Market Recipes by Lois de la Tour. Uh, this sold for $24.99 plus shipping on top. Do you remember buying this? We just got it last weekend. How much? A dollar. A dollar. Okay. So a really good return on that one. Five Delta, we sold a um, a stable for a nativity scene. And we had already sold all of, we had the, the figures for the nativity. 
Stefanini. And that stuff all sold already, but we still had the manger or the barn or whatever the heck you call this. And um, we got an offer for $25 on it. And we had it at priced, I think, at 40 something. And I'm tired of looking at it. <laughs> it's been here a while. So we went ahead and took it and we're gonna ship that sucker off to Houston. Going back to the same shelf, five delta right. Five delta right, yeah, we're on the right shelf. Ah, oh, there it is. Candace listed this Nintendo Zapper gun. And we got 15, yeah, $14.99 plus shipping on top for this. And last thing on six fox try last thing tonight anyway we may have well hopefully we have some more to pull in the morning but on six fox trot oh i was i lied there's a couple of uh fontaninis right there six fox trot we're supposed to have it's supposed to be a unicorn too oh there is look he was hiding back there in the corner damn Candace, how long has this thing been listed not long, maybe a month or so. I mean, he was all the way hidden in the back corner of that shelf, but he was there. That sold for $12.99 plus shipping on top. Okay, from SU6, we sold a starting lineup. It's down at the bottom. This is bigger than the rest of them. But it's this Nolan Ryan and uh, who else was it? Oh, Nolan Ryan, Randy Johnson classic doubles this sold for 9.99 plus ship pocket 65 we sold a transformers part let's be on this one 60 ah here we go right here some little missiles or and whatnot these sold for 26.99 plus shipping on top and also sold a hat sold one of these tennessee volunteer hats and we are back we are back from garage sales and from uh we went and got some pho after that yeah this was like a saturday it was weird like we um we woke up real early and lonnie, well, when she says we she means her well no he, he lonnie woke up early for lonnie yeah, but early for Lonnie is not that impressive. It's like 7, what time I wake up? Like 7.30? 7.30. I know, I was like, oh. So, um, <laughs> because most of the sales today started like around 8 or later. There was only a couple at 7. So I woke him up and I'm like, well, there was a few more orders to get packed. So he came out and got everything packed up, cleared the deck. And um, we've been out on sales all morning and ate lunch. It was like a Saturday. It was, it was cool. Yeah. I enjoyed it. We were it. able to take our time because we didn't have to rush to get back here to get packages out. Yep. They were already out there ready to go. Of course, and they're already gone now, too. We yeah, came we back came and home gone. and they were picked up. So. Yeah, or stolen, one of the two. We yeah. don't know which. We'll find out which well, later. we did have mail in his place, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, so we're going to show you what we found. I'm pretty happy with the stuff we picked up today. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. I'm I'm thrilled. We, we might have a couple losers here. Yeah, but we always do. We always have losers. We don't sweat that. <laughs> It, it doesn't make that big of a that difference. It makes it interesting. It's a teaching lesson for us and y'all. <laughs> yeah. Um, first garage that we went to, or one of the first. It was the first. It was the first one. This guy buys out storage unit auctions. Yep. And then he sells. He has a sale about a few times a year. Yeah, he's so good. I, I like him. He's. Uh, I've been to his sales before, and I mean, the prices aren't going to be the best because you know, like. Yeah you're cherry picking the guy which i understand like i get it yeah. like he's got to make but money he's got his stuff really nice and organized yes. and neat and um it's just real easy to look at and he will make a deal if you buy a lot so. yeah uh we bought three we bought hats for three paid up three dollars a piece that's expensive for hats we it like is, to pay a dollar there's some interesting ones i don't even know what that is it's some kind of golf strixen some kind of golf thing so this sale was in a warehouse and you know we have we always have a problem with buying hats with issues so lonnie brings me his pile of hats he said double check me and i did pull a couple out that had some stains on them right the rest of these look good get here in the shed lights and guess what shed lighting is the best lighting yeah 
we've got this hat here i don't know if y'all can see but yeah. it's got oh it's yeah I it's mean, crap and i looked I'm, I'm not like i didn't just glance at them like i was looking no, at them. i brought them to kansas because i know my weakness is like a I am very bad at spotting condition of clothing, any kind of apparel. Yeah. So I'm like, Candace, would you check these, please? Like, because I knew, I knew, like, you have to, when you're bad at something, like, the worst thing you could do is act like you're not. Yeah. Like, identify where you're weak, like I do, and then bring it them helped. to Candace. Yeah. And then it's still bad. But we did get some cool hats. Yeah, check them out. So, this um, one is cool. This one is Hurley. It's got the little, um, I don't know what that goddess is called. It says surf and enjoy. Surf and enjoy, Hurley. It's a mesh cap. That's a cool hat. Here's a Vans cap. Yes. Snapback. I Boy, you might even want to. You might like. It's kind of big though for your. Like that one. I yeah. Like that color. This is Quicksilver. Yep. It's got like a faded camouflage, but it looks like it's supposed to be faded. Mm -hmm. you know? And this is my favorite Billabong. Yeah, check it out. It is a vintage retro Billabong hat. Look like, at that. It's got the old foam in it. What What are the tags? That's Billabong. Billabong yeah. I mean, is there a, like a tag saying no. made in somewhere? Nope. Look under the, uh, I don't sometimes see they hide it under those. Yeah, no, nothing. Hmm. Isn't that cool? It is. Oh man. Look at that. That is so, what, 90s? Yeah. It's a little dingy, but I figured because of, oh, no, of no, the no. age of it. Those graphics. The, the cool look of it, it would be fine. And it I has. I did see those in there and I'm like, we're still getting this one. And it has the rope. Yeah. <laughs> neon work with that yep so three dollars a piece on those hats right at the same sale um lonnie got these um webcams new in the box we got four of them for they are sealed yeah i checked all the seals all the factory seals on them and they're, they're each one has three factory seals and i also looked them up real quick because they were six dollars a pop six dollars a whack um and like you can see here like this is probably about the lowest one thirty dollars free ship and I think these probably will ship first class package. Yeah, they'll probably go like 12 yeah. or 16 I ounces. I didn't get that. Like everybody's shipping on there is high. I don't. Yeah. But anyway, I thought it was a good buy. Like yeah. I think I think we sell the first one and it'll pay for the other. Like probably one of these will pay for them and then the other three are profit. And that's a one and done listing also. Right, yeah, exactly. Quantity, since they're all sealed. Okay, now here is time for a little, little trivia. So I watched... <laughs> Wait, let's start and show them what we got first. Okay, go ahead. Okay. This is a uh, Chrysler Building cookie jar. And um, so we walk up to the sale and they're like 50 cent fill a bag. Yes. Everything on this side. And this cookie jar was sitting there saying... And I was really afraid it was going to be a deja vu moment from yesterday. Everything but that. Oh, well, no, not that, sir. That's $35. But yeah, they did. They let us pay 50 cents for it. And, can, and look, check this out. Candace, I was so embarrassed. Candace usually is the one with all the tact. And she's always knows how to act and stuff like that. I turn around. I'm looking around while she goes up to pay. And I turn back around and she's dumping pennies out. <laughs> she's dumping pennies out on this table where you pay. I'm like, Candace, are you really going to use pennies? Let's talk about this. Okay. We already got a great now, deal. Now, you women out there can sympathize with me. I've got my little bag, my little hip bag. And I took a picture of it, too. Stop. I've got my little bag and the change starts to add up. And somehow I've accumulated <laughs> like 30 or 40 cents worth of pennies in there. I did pull it all out. I was looking for quarters. I had no quarters. So then I went to the dimes and nickels. I figured that. <laughs> Be quiet. Uh, oh. I had 30 cents worth of dimes and nickels. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'm getting rid of my pennies. Uh, oh, so we, sorry, y'all. You No one's allowed to talk when uh, there's Candace splaining going on. <laughs> and the seller was like, I'm with you, girl. I try to get rid of my pennies yeah. when I can. Too. She was trying to do it. Nah, y'all were just like taking up for each no. other. She, that was... Women know you got to carry that heaviness around. Unload it when you can. But yeah, Lonnie did. Unload it on somebody else so they can unload it? Yeah. She, they shouldn't have priced their stuff at 50 cents. <laughs> So, All I know is I turn around and I see Candace dumping a big old pile of pennies out on this table. I'm like, oh my God. And then he took a picture of me. Well, yeah, because, yeah, that's out totally out of line. And then we went to another sale that we saw some other resellers and he showed them the picture. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, look at Candace did. Well, no, that was, oh, anyway. 
Anyway, let's talk about let's talk so about. We paid fifty cents, and the comps are good. I saw like I'm thinking about fifty bucks on this. Really, that yeah. high? Yeah. So here's it's here's. A, it's a cookie jar, by the way, of the Chrysler Building, and Lonnie is dying to tell you his trivia. Yeah, fun trivia because I happened to watch a video about the Eiffel Tower the other day. Fun fact: Eiffel Tower was built in 1889. Price of. 1.5 million dollars what a deal you can barely buy a shed for that these days i couldn't buy the paint for that these days no <laughs> probably right but anyway the eiffel tower when it was built was the largest man-made uh largest man-made thing structure in the world from 1889 until around 1928 yeah 28 is correct at which time the chrysler building became the tallest building in the world and how long was it the tallest building in the world, Lonnie? Not for long, Candace. Glad you asked. That's a good question. It was only the tallest building in the world for just like two years. When it, and then y'all know what building came next. The Empire State Building. That's right. Yes. So for just a brief moment in time, this was the tallest building in the world. And it's not now. It's not even the tallest cookie jar in the world. It's I not know. that. Like it's kind I'm of like, stubby. It's not impressive looking the way they made it. <laughs> That, yeah, but if it was impressive looking, we probably wouldn't have bought it because it'd probably be like this tall <laughs> and I wouldn't want to ship it. I'm like, is that just the top of it? What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, anyway, we got that for I, 50 cents and I think we're going to get about 50 for it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And I did, I tried to check the condition. I think it's good. He gave me the lid and he took the base. So if there's any chips on the base, it's his fault. Oh, really? Is that how you live your life? <laughs> Looking for, <laughs> trying to minimize blame? <laughs> yep. And get rid of That's your pennies. I survived all this time. <laughs> Candace's rule, can, Candace's commandments. Okay, we got, you spend, get rid of your pennies at every every chance. Every time, every chance you can get. And then blame Lonnie. Yeah. That's that's her two commandments so far. Yeah, these next two buys are Lonnie's. They are. I'm proud of it. Why are you? Why did you we do? Went, we went to an estate sale that they had a few weeks ago, and they opened it up again today just to try to get rid of stuff. And um, so they said half off, but they were gonna, you know, work. But they did. We did get these for half off. I no, we paid. I didn't. Yeah, I was fine with that. Yeah, we paid five bucks. They're really these, nice. Yeah. Five bucks for uh the white diamonds. White diamonds. And then if you don't like white diamonds, maybe you like white shoulders yeah which what the hell does that mean this is not just white diamonds it's all of them uh okay yeah it's got passion in there also and white diamonds night all right it's your perfume for at night anyway these are like the old these are the old granny gifts you know? yeah you go buy at the drugstore <laughs> when you forgot to buy a christmas yeah gift. you're on your way to you're on your way over there and you're like oh Get Run something. Walgreens people, so. <laughs> You're giving me a gift bag. <laughs> Funk. <laughs> then 30 years later, it gets sold in Granny's estate sale. Now at that same estate sale, Lonnie got this pile of Louis L'Amour books. Oh, I did pay $5 for yes, a piece five. for these, by the way. Uh, Louis L'Amour books, they were 25 cents each. So we pay. We have 18 of them. So we paid like four or something for the thing. And I'm going to lot these up. Yep. And then these are... They're vintage tiki, look at that. tiki mugs. They're the sad, I don't know if y'all can oh, wow. see. Oh, wow, look at that. They're the sad, happy face. Those are cool. Yeah. Um, I saw comps um, around $10 a piece for them. I did pay $3 a piece, but I, I have eight of them, so I'm going to do two sets of four. Okay. Line them up like that. Well, what do you think you would get? Like, do you think, what, so you're going to like four of them at a time? Probably, we... th probably 35 bucks. Okay. Yeah. Not huge money, and Lonnie's going to moan about packing them. Oh, you damn right I will. I'm already I, starting. I couldn't pass them up. I mean... Okay, that's fine. I get it. Maybe one. Maybe I'll keep them and just make us a bar. You owe me. Because I do have my Polynesian Resort ones, too. You owe, Is that your third commitment? Make Lonnie pack glass? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we went to a sale and ran into some other... Um, they Some resellers that were actually holding the sale... He mainly sells on um, Amazon. It's Tammy and Brian. And um, we picked up this keyboard. For yeah, them. they are viewers, by the they, way. They are viewers also. So hi, Tammy and Brian. Um, so yeah, we we picked up three cookbooks from them, which I'll show you later, and then this um, keyboard. Yeah, I'll, these aren't worth as much as they used to be, but these uh, Microsoft ergonomic keyboards, this is an ergonomic keyboard, 4,000, and it's, it's not wireless or anything, so it'll be like super easy to test. Um, yeah, they usually do pretty good. This one's actually, it looks like it's in great condition to me. Yeah, it's a little, um, maybe needs to be wiped down. Yeah, there, uh, but the keys. Oh, that's uh, all. Yeah. 
the keys aren't overly dirty and you know what i like about those keyboards too they have all those you extra can hang them on the wall yeah, I know. I saw that. What is that? There must be some ex some other things. Maybe an accessory you can buy for it. I don't know. But look at all the extra little buttons and doodads it has. Look up at here, this little. You have all your like your home button and everything up here. What do you What do you reckon that is? A Volume. Mouse. No, it's not. It just goes up or down. Oh, Maybe it's some turn. Can make the page go up and down. Oh there. yeah, you're like right. Like a mouse. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's cool. Man, maybe I should keep that. Yeah, maybe Except you should. I don't want a wired keyboard. Why? Because oh, you're God. so weird, There's man. Another wire going across. My Candace, head. you can get. I, I can get that wire over to your computer. You won't even notice it. Uh, we'll see. If you want to use it, if you yeah, don't, we'll fine. I'll sell. Does. I'll sell the thing. I, I might not have room for a mouse. At that How would you like a split keyboard, anyways? Oh, no. Be kind of weird. I am. I mean, I do sometimes have like hand and wrist problems from dealing in a casino so long and then working in a bank like counting out money and stuff like sometimes i do have achiness all right so, well if you want to try it you can it feels weird though i don't know all right man that is so weird okay i know it is look how little my hands look on it i know hmm. uh, i don't know okay so a dollar for that <laughs> yeah all that to say a dollar we got a um sealed puzzle we like to pick these up um, and this one has dogs on it which makes it like yeah dogs almost... doing yoga that's almost a no-brainer. Look yeah, at is Pippin on there? No, uh, there is a Chihuahua, but Pippin's not a Chihuahua. There's no. Not Look at quite. that. That's a Dotson doing a shoulder stand. That what? is crazy, man. That's so funny. Uh, this is gonna sell. You know that? It's awesome. Look at all these pictures. Dog yoga. That is so funny. We paid a dollar for that too. Yep. That's sealed. Um, the same sale with the auction storage unit guy. We picked up um, all, his his shoes and clothes are all five dollars. It doesn't matter if they're new at tag, whatever. It's just this is this is it. Five dollars. I mean, we don't know. Like he, he was a very nice fellow. He might have, like, if you brought some stuff up oh, yeah, and he said was, he was bundling. And he would he would work with you if you did some. But volume. what I'm saying is, he didn't hold more value to some stuff no. than others as far as clothing and shoes go. No, no. I so, think he was doing it right as yeah. far as what he sold. Like I mean, you might have had a pair of shoes, Walmart brand would have been five dollars, and these Converse were five dollars. Right. You know. So um, these are cool. They're they're all they're older style Converse. I actually have the high top version of these, believe it or not. Um, I, be of, I believe it. One of our friends, Jim, gave them to me. Um, when we were in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to, met him in Tennessee. One That's year. right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, see, these have the all rubber bottom. I like that. Yeah, they don't have that like. Yeah. Carpety stuff or whatever. They're pretty clean. Like the fabric is clean. I just need to clean up the. It's, they are a little faded yeah no they're supposed to look like that oh are they mine look even worse than that oh, okay yeah so we paid five dollars for those candace almost had to look those up but i noticed no. something that, that is Just what happened stop. candace saw these on the table and said that looks like some expensive shoes did i not you did because they've got the real soft leather and just a lot of detail no you're 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 right yeah but you can't always depend you can't always trust that though but, oh they do feel they feel expensive yeah they're soft leather yeah oh wow. so so i tilted them forward and i saw unbridled and i'm like i've never heard of that brand and then lonnie spotted right underneath it so i said yeah candace those are probably good they're air yet yeah so i didn't even look them up i just bought them I, but she only want i didn't know how much she wanted for them i wouldn't even thought about would you pay a dollar for a this? dollar i wonder i i mean i know their boots are good i just i mean these might not necessarily be awesome. Who knows? Yeah, they're cool looking. I wish they were my size. I like them. Um, this is from. They almost look like Rusty Droid or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. Kind of space age, but country. I don't know about country. I would say like just. I would say more steampunky. Yeah. Okay, so y'all know we love New Orleans World's Fair, really World's Exposition. Uh, I, well, we don't really. If we really loved it, we would keep it. We, we love. We like to buy it and show it to you guys, and then sell it to make money. No, he's lying because we buy it even when we know we can't make a lot of money off of it. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah. I bought this. I didn't even. I didn't look it up. It was two dollars. It's a bank. This is the mascot Seymour Pelican. So, um, what's he made out of? It's like ceramic or whatever. Wow. Wait, something just shot off of them. Huh? Something just came towards me when you started tapping. Was it part of your nail or something? Might have been. Because huh. I don't see anything That's off of him. Like, I don't know if they saw it or not, but it flew over. He only has one eye, though. <laughs> what? What? 
Yeah. Well, the eye is a, a sticker. Oh. So maybe that's his eye that Wait, shot Wait, that him. is. His eye shot off. I knew I saw something. I'm going to have to Look, go. here it is. I knew I saw something fly off. I'm going to glue those back on. You tapped it and it like, bing. Oh my God. Okay, get back on there. I thought I was going nuts. Okay, yeah, we'll have to glue. Oh, yeah. yeah. Glue that on. Okay, so I. I if did, you glue that eye on, now it'll be worth $10. Well, I looked it up in the car after I bought it because I knew I was going to buy it. It does have the stopper, by the way. Uh, made in Taiwan, I believe. Yeah. So there's an. <laughs> this is an eyeball. Oh, no. There's an active right now for $10. And mm -hmm. I'm like, ooh, bummer. Theirs don't have any eyes. Oh. <laughs> so I'm yeah like, who would want that you know how bad that would look without yeah, the eyeballs it does it looks actually weird. yeah it's not hard to imagine because we just do this and we can oh it looks horrible <laughs> so so there's an active for ten dollars with no and eyes so then i'm like okay let me see if there's any solds no solds so then i went on worth point the last sold was three years ago for 50 i think 53 dollars yeah well we price it like that yeah we wait for for no, no eye, eye ball to sell for ten dollars oh no eye no eye pelican or actually actually uh ours will probably sell before that. what we wouldn't have to go 50 there maybe we go 30. i'm thinking like 30. yeah know. 30 is a right number yeah so okay. anyway that's the story behind that well that was a great story yeah <laughs> you tell the best stories at the same <laughs> sale that we bought seymour we got this craftsman insulated jacket yeah look at that did y'all know craftsman had jackets yeah. i didn't know uh repels and resists what are all stains odor and shrinkage shrinkage, shrinkage. that sounds like old uh so you can wear this when you go swimming yeah old george <laughs> this is what old george costanza needed <laughs> <laughs> introducing the newest most innovative of teflon fabric protector which is interesting because it's denim so yeah oh yeah anyway new it tags they had it marked for 25 Lonnie offered them 15 and they took it. I, I didn't think, I thought she, she looked like she was ready she to tell me. She was going to come back with 20. No, know? I thought she was going to go, yeah, you didn't know what that's yeah. worth. So. And th now I looked up comps on Craftsman, just jean jackets, which that is not. It's a jean jacket, but it's sort it's of lined. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's lined. I, I don't know what that's going to be worth new with yeah. tags. All right, we got just a few more things. Okay, after we do this table full of stuff, which is really good stuff. Not really, but not really. the the next thing is good. It's the the thing after this is the bolo. So big just time. bear with us. We got more cookbooks. We're trying this thing out. We're we're all in. Sort of. We are all in. We're gonna cook and deal. <laughs> no, this is a, a cookbook for bridge players. Well, that's weird. <laughs> no. Anyway, so yeah, we bought some more cookbooks. This was my favorite one of the day. Look at that, how cool. For boys and girls. Betty Crockers. And look, it has like little drawings of the actual kids they taste tested the recipes did on. You look, did you look that up? No, I didn't, but I had to buy it. Yeah, that's cool. It was only, it was a buck. What we're going after though is like real short run cookbooks. Which are gonna be these bound, right. you know. Like that, this ones is, that are bound this, like this that. This is an infantry in Colorado. Right, yeah. 212. Two infantry fort carson colorado did this cookbook yeah. and then we're going to end up with a lot of church Churches, cookbooks yeah any cajun um branded cookbooks that have these are good um so that's old yeah. tony sasheries but that yeah. one's different cajun country it's microwave microwave cookbook back when they put a dash in the microwave <laughs> <laughs> so basically we like to pay around 50 cents to a dollar for cookbooks um we did 25 cents on bam 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 and bam we didn't pay more than a dollar for any of them no, a dollar there and the other ones are 50 cents these were 25 cents oh okay yeah and then 50 cents for these yeah basically they're almost free yeah and and candace you when, when you list these you do front and back and then you do the index if i have if i have enough pictures or as many as i can i like to take a picture of all the recipes so, right because wouldn't you want to know what recipes yep. you're buying yep so this one's interesting it's hard bound but it's got that plastic spiral huh i think that these need to be bundled up because they're cane river yeah. recipes and the other good thing about cookbooks is well you get them cheap and then they ship cheap too because they're they can go media rate the bad thing is do they end up selling as fast as yearbooks if that's the case then we won't last long or maybe we'll just have to get more and more selective yeah experimenting we're here. trying it out i yeah. do have a little challenge what's that i just thought of for who this word right here 
Can I? Can you see it good enough? Oh, n oh yeah. Okay, okay, I won't say it. Don't say it. I want y'all to pause. Wait, hang on, let me see. Okay. See if it shows it good enough for them to see it. Okay. Pause. I can't actually. I can't see it. Oh, wait. Okay, we'll put a screenshot. There it is. No, it's there. All right. I want you to pause the video and go in the comments and type out how you think that's pronounced. Okay. And then we're gonna come back and tell you. Okay, let's hear. Let's see how you say it, Candace. Nakedish. Okay, I'm gonna say Nakedish. And then let's, how do you say it, old Google, Google. thing? Nakedish. Yep. All right, we all agree. What else you got? We got some books over uh, here. Yeah, so these were these next set of books were from the um, auction storage guy. Yep. He said they were a dollar a piece, but if we no. bought, what did he say? Two for a dollar. Two for a dollar, but if we bought, set, bought more, we could get them three for a dollar. So yeah. we got them three for a dollar. Um, I've got this little stack of American Girl books here. I'm either going to lot them up or my other thought is maybe just keep them and bundle them with a doll when I get it. No, I think you lot them to up. To kind of give incentive for somebody to buy the doll. Yeah. We'll see. And then um, I, there, he had several sets of children's books. Right. Like your Magic Tree House and stuff. I did. I, so I was looking them up and I found that these were pretty good. Um, these Ready Freddy books. And my mind is eluding me now what they go for. Yeah, I got a big old stack of those. Ready Freddy. And then Lonnie found these uh, manga books. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a set of crazy. three manga books. I paid a dollar for them. Fantasy degree. Yeah. So, the edges are kind of like, they look like they weren't stored real well. So I, I don't know. Maybe they're supposed to look like that. I don't know. Because the insides are clean. Yeah, but I'll pay a dollar. Yeah, except for the content, maybe. Uh, I paid a dollar for the three. I'm yeah. sure that'll do pretty well. All right, okay. one more thing to find you to show you, and that was our big find, or Lonnie's big find of the day. Big find of the big day, find. day. <laughs> And this is the last thing. This is I found this uh, that first that estate sale we went to. Okay, Vanna or whoever. The first the estate sale we went to uh, where they were trying to move the stuff they hadn't sold yet. They had a price originally 85 and I asked her how much she wanted for it today and she ended up saying 30 So I went ahead and took it. Um, what do we have here? It's a Epson. It's an Epson uh, Dot matrix printer new old stock. It's still yeah, it's, it's brand new the tape stuff on it. Yeah, it's absolutely it's brand new in the box with like here's a probably some kind of paper feed or tray or something like that and uh yeah lq58 oh we have the lq570 echo all right so, we, okay yeah okay. i'm pretty yeah that's what it says on the outside of the box they okay. just have the same manual for both gotcha. but yeah i've it's been a it's been a while since i sold a dot matrix printer there's oh, look there's a ribbon yeah look <laughs> I'm just gonna sell it exactly like it sits. So you think 150 to 200? Uh, uh, no, I'm thinking it might be. I, I think it could be north of 200. I just haven't looked yet. And what did you pay? Paid 30 dollars. Okay. Paid 30 bucks for it. And the reason these still sell, I think, is um, like if you still see a lot of businesses using these because they are impact, meaning they strike they strike the paper. So people like using these it's like whenever a they whenever they want to do triplicate forms in triplicate yeah where they could strike the paper and make three copies right yep so they can give a receipt to customers and send one and file one or whatever right even though you know of course that's with whenever you need want like a copy of the signature right oh yeah i guess so. because then mm -hmm. like somebody signs signs something they don't have to sign all three. They don't have to sign three times. Because yeah. otherwise you could just print three copies of something, true, right? True, true. So, yeah. okay. uh, but you see a lot, of, like, so often you see a lot of, like, uh, like car car repair shops will use these and other businesses like that. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Places but, that need invoices and whatnot. This one is not that old. It was, I think it was manufactured in 1999. It's got the, oh, it's uh Epson and Seiko? Uh, Epson and Seiko kind of work together. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, actually, my first... You want to hear about my first... It's not Japanese components. Oh, yes. Yeah, no, it's Japanese. Yeah. You, do you know what my first... Uh, dot, did I ever tell you the story about my first dot matrix printer? Mm -mm. No, that's not... <laughs> I've never had any, and Lonnie has had multiples that he can tell a story about his first Oh, no, one. no. My, my, first, my first dot matrix printer was actually um, Sakosha. 
it was called it was Seiko, but it was called Sekosha. It was like Sekosha LP one thousand twenty four pin NLQ. NLQ was one of the buzzwords back then. Okay. You know what that meant? I'll um, take your word for it. You know what NLQ meant? Uh, NLQ, not yep. like who? Not, not like what? Not like something starting with a Q. No, it's uh, near letter quality. Oh. Because dot matrix printers are each character is made up of dots, right? The more dots you have, the better your resolution. Gotcha. So the old school ones just look like real jaggy or whatever. Yeah. And the, the uh, well, I say old. The NLQ technology came along. Yeah, they just, they have more dots. Bonnie had to have it. These things are loud as hell. I've worked in offices back in the day. That right. Them, and they are loud. Yeah. So if you see, even used, like if you, man, if you could find used dot matrix printers, they're worth they're worth messing with honestly like the couple of times i've done it we've made great money Even so if they don't work they might be sold like a movie prop or something or for parts maybe yeah. who knows but uh yeah big score of the day i don't know what it's going to sell for yet but it's going to sell for more than 30 dollars yeah well i think that's going to be it for this one candace yeah that wraps up everything we found and we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video Yep. Get Can, some things listed. I think Candace might go wrap herself up and take a nap. She yeah. that's why we're headed out. And then I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna stay out here and list. It's been uh garage sale, like we're we're gonna go to garage sales again tomorrow morning. If the rain holds out. If the rain uh God willing and the creek don't rise. <laughs> <laughs> I always like to be doom and gloom because it seems like when I'm like, Oh, it's gonna rain, we're not going out, then it doesn't and we get sales. Right. So. Right. But yeah, it it like we we've been really coming into like the very last of of garage sale season, which I know everywhere else in the country they don't have it pretty much. But um, ours usually we, around the, the end of November. Or middle. We want to make the most of it. Yeah, up until around Thanksgiving is yeah. Yeah, and then it's then we're done till like the end of February. Yeah, end of February, beginning of March, yeah. depending on how the winter does. Yeah. So that's gonna be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching. We will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.